So on this one I'm going to be showing you how to do a full system clean with the Magnus Lens from AD. Um, this Worcester, um, the warranty has been invalid. Worcester have been out, check the system water and it's filthy. So the footer stop on the warranty and says we're not going to attend until it's been cleaned out and sorted. So I'm going to set it all up, show you how to clean the system properly. So welcome back. I want your opinions on this job because I think the manufacturer has been a little bit harsh on this one. So I'll picture the scene. Little old dear, she's had a new boiler about two, three years ago from a different company. She has a problem with the boiler. She phones at Worcester and say, we can't fix the fault due to the system water. And the fault's an electrical fault. So the system water's failed the test. So the phone sort of says, they said, we need to clean out the system. Can you come and do it? So I've booked them in for a clean. Hopefully we can get it back on contract. But take a look at the job and let me know what you think. All become clear as you watch the video. So I want to say thank you very much to everyone who subscribed so far. Really appreciate the support. If you haven't subscribed, press the button. It really helped me out. Any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Like the video. Yeah, let's take a look at this job. First thing I'm going to do, isolate and drain the filter. And we're just going to walk around and have a look at the roads. But we have got one of these now. Thermal engine camera. Now, a lot of you said on a job that I did, I should get one of these. So, I've got one. I'm going to try it out. I'll let you know what it's like so i'll check back in a couple of weeks and i'll do a review on that see if it's any good or not so i'm going to try that out let's get that filter drained and i think what we'll do is put a drain off on the flow because we want to be doing a um, main flush afterwards so let's get that drained get a tea cut in there okay we'll settle so i've just isolated these two valves on the wall stand there's a little cap on the bottom of these just undo that you can drain it off you can see the water it ain't looking too good. Let's uh, take a filter out and have a look. Well, just under the filter. That's what we've got. I've got a new wrap from the work into the bucket. Let's take this off and have a look. Not the worst in the world, but we we'll did have a look at that a couple of weeks ago, so two, three weeks ago. Mm. Okay. But yeah, you can see the water is jet black. So yeah, that is what we need to clean. So, we can attach the mag clean to there, but I do want to get a T in there. So, I'm just going to open them valves back up on here, drain it off there, cut the pipe out there, get the water in, stick it in. Right, so to get some access to there, I'm just going to hit the isolation valve. What I'm going to do is cut the pipe. I've got a tub, some blue valve there. I'm just going to cut the pipe out just so I can get a T in. Right, so cut that pipe, but it was full of water. So, two methods you can do to get water out of the pipe you can use a spray bottle put that down and spray but that takes forever the quickest way get a bit of pipe so that's 22 get a smaller diameter pipe put it down inside the pipe don't let go obviously put it down inside the pipe put your thumb over it pull it up and you'll be able to pull the water out you just let go of your thumb and the water will come out there you go looks like tip so yeah no water in that pipe now so now we can get our tea onto there there we go drain off in I'm just gonna connect up now to this uh, Worcester filter. You take them two clips off. Then you just undo these. It should be hand tight, mate. Really, they don't need to be that tight. Let's get my grips. And I'm with a deaf grip, then why you don't need to be that tight. Anyway, just gonna do both of them. Just get my funnel just there. Just to catch any water. That nearly went in the bucket of water. <laughs> Just come off there. It's going to be a bit tight, that. I think. Oh, yeah, I need two hands to get that off, but that is the worst to do that. I forgot what <laughs> doing that. That's the worst to do all out. That needs cleaning out anyway. Actually, while it's in there, it seems to be going quickly. Cool. So to be honest with you, what I'm going to do, Magnetite will actually settle to the bottom of that bucket. I'm going to leave that bucket somewhere and see what it looks like later. Okay. The AD Magnet lens that I bought, you get the adapter pack, which will fit any AD filter. It will also fit the Worcester filter with them ones, I think it is. Is it them ones? Or is it them ones? It's them ones. 
the bigger ones at the front here. Pro 2 XP, we'll fit onto a Worcester. So I'm all good to know. He's a camera in So we'll just tighten them onto our adapter piece. The XP ones, like I said. And then we're just gonna angle that onto there, tighten it up and get the other one on. Then we could get our manual cleanse onto that. You don't need to get mental with these. You don't need lot of grips and swinging off them. Hand tight, there you go, hand tight. And you have one. And that's it, that's it connected. Then we can angle them anywhere we want to get our houses on. So here comes the magnet box. There you go, I'm going to set him up down there now. Show you to get these houses on. So it comes with a clamp here. Undo that. And show that far out as you can. Make life easier in a bit. Got a seal on there, blue seal. And we're just going to get our holes and put it onto there. So, holes on, line it up, and you get your clamp on. And just tighten them in. Just like that. Now, there's one that comes with a drain off on these holes. When you first set them up, so put the drain off on the bottom right one. There we go, just make sure that's nice and tight. That's one done. I'm just gonna do the bottom one then. There we go. That's the bottom one. Make sure that lever you can actually turn it. So it turns that way, hold on. I've done that many a time, tighten it all up, put it all on, I can't actually turn the levers. So yeah, tighten them all up. Then we can connect it onto the adapter. These are my camera, very bit easy to do. So I'll just push on like that, and you just pull down either side. There we go. That is that locked on. Just do the other one, and we're ready to go with the cleaning. Got some pressure, and I forgot I left drain off open. Oh, I don't need. <laughs> Bar pressure in there now. I know none of my joints or connections are leaking. Um, so yeah, that drain off's not leaking. This we're gonna put the chemicals in. So we use Sentinel X800. Yeah, it's good stuff this is so it's a clean system in there now so i'm gonna pull that in there and open up the valves there we go get the magnet back on again i'll just do these hand tight i need to get crazy crazy on them i've got some rubber seals on them rubber seals plastic on plastic you don't need to give them out. Just make sure they're closed. And again, some of the knees, make sure we've got no leaks. Like that. I just took that off and lined it up fully. Because I'm doing it one handed. Right. Better. Yeah, we're going to open that one as well. No leaks on there. Let's get some pressure. Consist them. Get up to about one. Okay, so I'll just pop the boiler on once I've got it up to pressure and look, look at the difference in the houses already. Because that's obviously into the magnets coming out. Mmm, it'll be a long day, I think. So you can probably see it better if I do it like that. You can see it coming into the magnet. Goes around two magnets and back out on this one and back into the boiler. Yeah, can you hear the bubbles? I'll do like the, the ID mag cleans, the tray. That's the box that it comes in. It acts like a tray. So any spillage in that just goes straight into that tray. But I've got my dust sheet underneath there. Blue roll on hand, I've got a big roll that's somewhere and a towel. So that's all set up now. What I'm gonna do next is put this into a uh, service mode, put it onto low, make sure we've got circulation and bang it up high and uh yeah, get the system cleaned. So our service mode is just pressing old OK on these. It'll start off 100 percent you use the right hour here, press down, we've got to minimum, and you press up and it'll go back into maximum. All right. Black cleaner has been in there for a good hour. I like to get it circulated, make it sure it's nice and hot. So we're actually gonna start cleaning the radiators now. So what you wanna do is go around all the radiators apart from one and shut them off. So I'm just gonna come to this one, show you what we do. 
So we shut them off from the lock shield. So it's got a TRV and a lock shield. Shut them off from the lock shield. So I'm just going to turn that one off. There you go. There's a lot of radio is always fighting now. Um, I'm just going to go around all the others and turn them off. So you can actually count the turns that you turn the lock shield and open them back up the same amount of turns. But we normally just turn them right off and ban the system afterwards. It's a good chance to ban the system out. So. Yeah, it's going to shut all the radiators off, apart from one, and I'll show you how to clean them out. So we're just going to clean this radiator out now, and then we've got them all off, apart from this one, and we're going to be using this as a vibe clean agitator. All that does is go into your hammer drill, just like an SDS adapter, put it onto the hammer, each vibrate the bottom of the radiator. All I should do is loosen the sludge and start getting the radiator nice and clean. Let's do that. I'll turn the volume there for you lot. So we're going to go across the bottom of the radiator, just vibrate it or just loosen and deposit. Let's go and have a look at the hoses now, see uh, if you look it's coming out. So when you agitate the radiator, I normally do this and normally go across the bottom on like that. Then I'll go up and down, up and down there. And normally that's well enough, that is well enough to get all the filth out. Um, all the muck and magma torch loosen off the bottom and go back into your magma cleanse. That's the return coming back in. You can see it's pretty black, not the blackest I've ever seen in my life, but yeah, that'll just be going through the magnets now. Um, just want to do that for all the radiators now. So now that one's done, what we can do is close that one off, open the next one, vibrate the radiator, and we're just going to go around every single radiator and do that. So I'm not going to film all that because it's just the same thing over and over again. But we're just going to clean out all the radiators, have a look at the magnet to see what we've got. So I've been round, cleaned all the radiators, each individual one off, vibrate, clean, move on. I'll be honest with you though, I'm not getting much out of the system. I'm not. I've got a feeling here that we must have made a bit of a mistake. Let's take a look at the magnets. So hopefully we've got off. Then we can do just to relieve the pressure. Just open up the bleeds. What the hell is that spraying out like that? That's closed. That's closed. That's doing that. There's no the name valves them off. Definitely closed. There must be a lot of pressure in there. Right, let's get that one done. Then we're just the oil filter wrench just in case they know them. One of my favourite tools from videos for magnets. Alright, start with that one. Let's have a look. I don't know. I've got some muck out there. Hmm. It's not as much as what I thought. I thought it'd be bigger than that, but yeah. That's got some decent muck out. But I don't think that's the only issue. Remember that bucket earlier? Now I said I'd leave that bucket and magma talk to settle to the bottom. Take a look at the bucket. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. I can even see the bottom. There's no, there's no magma talk in that water. Look at the colour of it. It's like a burgundy. Can I? I say that's more chemicals than dirt that's staying in that water yeah i think the water colour is down to lots of chemicals they've used to clean it out or nibs it or something something ain't right there it ain't just magnetite that ain't i think i think what they've done is they've took the field for it seen a bit of muck on there and seen the colour and said no that's that means cleaning out without actually going into depth and looking at the water itself yeah i don't think that's half as bad as what worcester was making out to avoid the bottom too and what do you think though Right, let's get these magnets cleaned. The first one. It does come with like a adapter, you can put around the magnet to scrape it off, but I just found it easier. Blue roll. Look at that. Lovely and clean. And there's the other. That ain't as bad as that one, so let's get some uh, fresh blue roll. Right, now that's clean, I'm going to chuck it in that bucket. You know the bucket from earlier? 
See what it does. So I do like testing for you. See, look at that and think that is full of magnetite. Right. It's a very strong magnet. Now you expect that to be chocker, but it ain't. That water is discoloured more than anything. So, magnet's clean, back in, isolation valves back off, and then we're going to do the main flush though. We've got the hose pipe on there, that hose pipe's off a condensate pump. It's really tight over drain us, really like that. So, what we want to do is open the filling loop so the water goes down the return, friend, all the radiators, and back up at this drain off. But we don't want it going back in the boiler. So, what we've got to do, isolate the flow, and that'll stop it going back into the boiler. And I'll show you a little tip. So you ain't got to stand there, like that, holding your finger on it. All you want to do is get the flow between draining it down and what's going in even. So what you can do is get a bit of 15mm pipe, all right, put it in the lever, put it down, wedge it, wedge it in like that, that'll hold it open. And you're standing there, um, with your finger on it. So, yeah, let's make sure the pressure stays even. So, close that up a little bit. Okay, I'll keep monitoring that. That should now be flushing out the radiators. Same principle again, each individual radiator until the water runs clear, and that should flush out all the debris, all the clean at every end the system. That's then properly cleaned. See, I shot the arms into the toilet. It'll be fine to do this, you can scrub the pan afterwards, trust me, it won't stain. Um, that's beginning to look clearer already compared to what it's coming out just. Um, yeah, if you're going to put it into a toilet, I'll make sure the water's cool to start with because you can crack the pan if you just let like 80 degree water just drain into a cold pan. So make sure it's cooled down. The way we did that was isolate the gas, make a heating demand, and let the boiler run, keep locking out it, it'll just pump the water around the rad um, until it cools down. So yeah, let's um, gonna run that one radiator until that gets clear, move on to the next, then move on to the next, move on to the next. And that'll be a uh, system flush, a uh, cold main flush on that. Just finished doing the bathroom radiator. So what I'm gonna do now, show you the difference. Now you're just in the water, nice and clear. Turn it off, that's so all the radiators off now. And this is the radiator I was working on earlier. You'll see the difference in the colour of the water, but you'll also be able to see how much muck comes out. Let's get back and I'll show you the muck that comes out of this one. There you go. Now yeah, it's running clear, as soon as I've opened that red, it's running like that. So I'm going to leave that now until that goes crystal clear. There we go, that's the difference in the water. It's nearly there, not quite, but yeah, that's got most of it out. It's still, still, still a little bit black coming out, so let that run for a few more minutes. See what it looks like. There we go, crystal clear now. So we do now turn that radiator off there, and you've got this bedroom to do now. Clean all done, drain off soft, flowers back open, pressure on boiler. I'll put the heating back on for the customer. Not really, Lord, I forgot to disconnect that, so that's gonna have to go off. Um, but yeah, we've all got to do now is disconnect all that. And what we're gonna do is isolate. The valves on here. That should be soaking well, all the pipes are soaking well. Um, then I can open up the drain off here. There we go. And uh, get that drain down. Oh, that's back here. Put the uh, mustard filter back in there. Well, I said with these plastic nuts, don't go by me. You just do them on tight. If you need to nip them up, you can nip them up, but honestly. Don't go too mental with plastic on plastic. No need. Right. Make sure them are toiling. Don't cross thread them. Do not cross thread them. They won't go on hand like the A lined up properly, so they'll cross thread them. Um, clips, put them somewhere safe. There we go. And the magnet, I want to give that a clean out before we put it back in. Is that looking better? Let's get you in. Before we tighten it up, in here we are. Yeah, the top of the sentinel, there's still half stub in there, so I'm gonna have to come back and put some in. Well, let this circulate and put some in. I put too much in there. Let's get me a uh, funnel. So that's gonna spill everywhere. Yeah, I think I've overloaded that bit. Just 
be plenty in there for the size of this system. Yeah, it's going to go over there. That's okay. That is even. That is even. So what I'm going to do, because I've still got like near enough half a tub left, because it does fit all in there. I'll let the heating run for a little bit, let that circulate, and uh, yeah, drain it from the bottom and put the rest in. So that's been on now for about half an hour. Um, I've just drained it again so I can get the rest of the in between. And um, I'll just show you the magnet actually. Um, yeah, don't need anything on it. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, let's put the last in the between in there. Near enough job. The last but the most important part of this whole process is the AD Pro Check. Now you can use what you want, but I use AD Pro Check because it sends an email before to the customer. So we're going to take a sample, do the AD Pro Check, then that's proof then that this system has been cleaned out. Then the warranty should be back on for the customer. So this is the AD Pro Check. These the strips, some backing cards, and testing tube. And when you download the app, it tells you exactly how it is. But basically, Take a sample, put the strip in, take a picture with the card on the app, and tell you if it passes or not. So uh, let's take that from the first radio row, which is the kitchen. Yeah, that's what, the, what it looks like out yeah, of the kitchen, Brad. It's been on about an hour, so I'll get it tested. This is what the AD report looks like that gets sent out to the customer. So I thought Worcester was a little bit harsher than there, I do, but I'm not going to blame the Worcester engineer. He just gone out, took a water sample, since it's all black, automatically thought that sludge to high heaven, it needs cleaning out. So, but when you look at it a bit more detail, you can tell it's not really that bad. It wasn't as bad as what there's making it. Yes, the clean has helped that system, but it wasn't as bad as what you thought. So yeah, uh, thank you to everyone that suggested getting a thermal imaging camera. Like I said, I've tried it out on that video and it really helped out. It really did. So I'm really glad I got one. I am going to do a review video on that in a couple of weeks once i've had a chance to use it make sure i like it then i'm probably gonna do a review video on that let's so look out for that one and if you're after the 5k giveaway we've done it check the last video i did another impossible plumbing repair the winner is revealed on there so thank you very much for your support really appreciate it catch you on the next one